on Reverb.com, basically the, the eBay for music equipment, it's at 18,000. This right there is car number three. Three cars already that got stuck on the ice right in front of my studio. I helped one of them, but number two and three, I mean, I also have to make some music right here. Well, let's see if it actually works. Yay! <laughs> they made it. But now let's get to the really exciting stuff. The stuff you've tuned in for all has to do with microphones. And trust me guys, this right here is not any kind of microphone. This right here is just the amplifier to make it louder. Comes in this amazing box, cable, shock mount, and the mic itself. And as you can already see, it's a very iconic shaped microphone. This one right here is by Golden Age, the GA8000. It retails for 3,999 euros. And the absolutely crazy thing is, this right here is not even the original. This one right here is, I mean, calling it a fake wouldn't do it justice, calling it a uh, very accurate reinterpretation might be a lot more close because this is still a very very high quality microphone it is very close to the sony microphone the sony c8000g and that mic again 4k the sony original one goes like it starts at 10,000 but can go up to 18,000 on Reverb.com, basically the, the eBay for music equipment, it's at 18,000. It wasn't even sold in Europe, so I'm, I'm really happy to have this one right here in the studio and test it a little. As far as I've read online, it's, it's very close using similar parts or parts that are equally as good and similar. Also has this cooling ribbon thing right here, which, which gives it the iconic shape. And I think one of the main reasons it's so expensive, of course, high quality, build quality, plus the original, the Sony one, was used a whole lot by Dr. Dre. So every person that has a lot of money and likes to rap gets one of these. And a lot of people always ask me why this equipment has to be so expensive and if it's already worth it. To give all of this a little bit of perspective, I got here another one. Did it already break? No. This one is one euro on, off, and it has glitter. I know, silly comparison, but we'll learn something from it, trust me. So let's hook all of them up and give them a little sound test. Nothing is clipping, no processing, just purely the mic in three, two, one. Hi guys, I hope you hear a difference. I hope I hope there's a significant difference. There should be one. I mean, just at least since I'm a lot closer to this one right here, let's switch back to the camera microphone, which is around 300, 300 something bucks. It's like a smart microphone that does like canceling out frequencies and that kind of weird stuff. It's good for vlogging, but this one right here is hopefully definitely a lot better for just general recording. A lot of people told me that it sounds very nice and that the top end is crystal clear. I don't know yet. You know more than me. Let me know in the comments how how good does it sound, especially when we compare it to our one euro microphone. <laughs> I don't even know how to hook this one up. I think I'll need an adapter. Right now using the one, one euro mic and it's not probably that bad. I mean, I can at least see it's picking up audio. Let's switch it really quick to the really expensive one. Back and forth, expensive, cheap. I don't know, I still haven't haven't listened to them. I hope the difference is big. It should be, because even among like two, 300 mics to a thousand, there is actually like a, a difference you can, you can hear that is audible. And there is other stuff like build quality. <laughs> we don't even have to talk about build quality. The cable, like 
let's see if the switch actually works. Again, sound, yeah, it works. So let me, let me like stop recording, I'll listen to both, compare them. And then I think, cause this is a little silly. Let's um, also take another mic that is around a hundred bucks, a stage microphone, the most famous on the planet and compare it against the premium mic. All done with work, very productive day. I started another song and I, I, of course, I listened to it back and forth. There's a huge difference. Like there's like, we don't even have to talk about it. It's audible, I hear it. It sounds without a question better. But I also tested it against like all other mics I got. There are more, but those are all I can handle right now. Let's put them back before I break them. They all sound good. This one right here is without a doubt the most expensive. Again, the legendary status definitely is one part of it. About the parts and how it's manufactured, I can't really tell. I'm not a technician. I don't know what kind of parts go in there and how much they cost on the market. But unfortunately, as always in life, this one beats every other mic I got. By a little, by a lot, depending on which mic I compare it against. I can hear it. I like it more. This one sounds like it, it has bass and it has like air a lot of top frequencies and it sounds already very pop in your face i love that that's like perfect for my kind of music i wouldn't maybe record like an intimate acoustic ballad kind of thing or something that needs to sound more old school vintage retro but for like in your face pop probably also rap because it also needs to be in your face it sounds good and I can understand why it has that legendary status. But as always, whenever you record someone, you need to test the mic. Whenever I have a session and record someone, I pick a mic where I think it could fit and then I test maybe two, three others just to be sure which one actually makes the, the voice sound the best. Let me know if you're interested. I, I, I might actually do like a full mic testing and put all of them against each other and give you my recommendations. But um. As of right now, unfortunately, the most expensive sounds the best to me. Is the difference huge? That's that's like up to you to decide. I'll test it. Let's let's do it really quick against the uh, the Shure mic. This one right here, it's the SM58. It's the legendary stage microphone. You see it everywhere on stage. It's very durable. Has like a pop filter built in. Go to stage mic. This one is actually quite heavy but I like it. If you go really close to it, you will hear that the bass will be emphasized. If you take it a little further, it should sound more balanced. Basically, almost every mic does that. Some more extreme, some less. And here it's probably the same thing. Close, bass heavy, further, a little more balanced, more neutral. This also can make a difference. If you do voiceover stuff, you go really close and make it cozy and bass heavy. But for singing, I'd say like two hands, one and a half, and like a pop filter in between to prevent it from like popping. I think this handles pops really well, actually, for not having anything in front of it. But yeah, that's the difference. Typical case of diminishing returns. The more you pay, the less more you get. If, if you want to have like a fast car, you'll pay, I don't know, 100k. If you want it to go twice as fast, good luck. I think you can make a decent song with any kind of mic. I think the mic doesn't make such a huge difference. But if you start working for like the top, top artists and the top, top studios, every little percent that separates you and makes your song, your recording better than someone else's, is important and picking the right microphone and having a bunch available to find one that suits best to the singer songwriter is definitely important and for me personally that's like one of the reasons why i got all of these i, I won't keep all of them send some of them back but i want to have a selection maybe four to five mics here for the studio for the customers that rent it to have a choice also of course for me whenever i do a session once it's allowed again and COVID is over I'll have singer songwriters here, record them, and then pick the, the right microphone for the right voice. Sometimes the cheapest is the best. Sometimes you need the most expensive. 
that doesn't really matter. It's more about the sound characteristics. Let me know if you're interested in a full test, all of them against each other, so you can hear the difference and maybe pick the best one for you. It's actually already quite late and, and I have an appointment to people coming over here to the studio. Acousticians, pros, they will measure it again. I did it already two days ago. Results are fantastic. Getting really close to finishing this entire studio, just like the ceiling, the tables, and that's then almost it. Getting lost in the dream.